All right, I'm just gonna get to it. Um, so it's a pretty simple display. Everything is read off of this. This is a wireless OBD2 adapter. Um, I got it off eBay, it was like 13 bucks. Um, try to clarify that on there. Um, pretty much all this does is reads what a scan, a scan tool normally would do and broadcasts whatever the ECU can see on the engine to the tablet. Um, the tablet also I got off eBay. Um, the whole setup was 60 bucks. It was pretty cheap. Um, so pretty much I turn the key on. Everything turns on. Um, you can pretty much set it up. I mean, it's a tablet. Set it up either way you want to do it. Um, backgrounds, all that stuff. Um, which is kind of cool because you can do maps and um, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to do. Which I don't really use it for that. The only reason why Facebook's on there is so I can download backgrounds, really. Um, but you can also run that at the same time, so that's kind of cool. Um, for a Z32, it is a little tight-fitting because um, of the way the cluster goes. But because of that, um, you can kind of reach down here and back out of everything. Uh, pretty straightforward, obviously, for a tablet. But what reads everything is Torque Pro right here. Torque Pro is only $4.99, 5 bucks. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you can set it up however you want the gauges to be. Um, so this is like eighth mile times, quarter mile times, 0 to 60, all that stuff, diagnostics. Um, this is my daily driven setup um, for the daytime. It is a white background because without the T-tops on, the sun glare is unbearable with any other background. So at night, um, when the tablet recognizes it is now nighttime, the gauge display changes to a different theme setting than I have. So everything turns black and red. So pretty much looks like a standard Z32 cluster. Um, this is what I have for when I do races, uh, drag races, coolant, volts, timing, etc. Uh, pretty straightforward. You can have up to nine screens um, set it up any way you want. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Start it for you here. Once the OBD2 adapter connects to the tablet, it does it instantly. Um, you got everything. I mean, it reads everything you need to. It says no data for miles per hour because I have a 370Z six speed and uh, obviously I don't have that connected. So that is for GPS. But I will say being in a tablet, the GPS part of it kind of sucks. So I have an aftermarket GPS system for my speed. When it was a 4L80 before I swapped it to a six speed, um, the miles per hour works just like it would any other time. Um, so that was no, not a problem until I went to a six speed. But uh, as I said before, you can switch screens, do whatever you need to do. So we'll go into the settings for this. Um, we'll jump to this screen so I don't change any of my stuff. Um, it's pretty easy to add and change anything you want. All, uh, all you gotta do is add display. Um, all the dials you want to do, you can do normal dials, half dial, um, see if I can get in there, bar displays. Um, these are pretty much how you want them to be set up. I mean, you can even go all the way down here and do a raw data display. This will tell you everything your car is looking at, math, all that stuff. This is like a quick diagnostic to see how your car is running, all your fuel volts, everything for math sensors, um, which I don't have, so that doesn't really matter. But I'll delete this really quick show you. I'll just throw a quick one on here pretty quickly. Uh, we'll just do a dial. Everything that's lit in green is everything the computer can monitor and show. So current values that are working right now. It also depends obviously on the computer and the OBD2 system. The more the computer can show, the more obviously it'll be able to broadcast. Uh, fuel trims, all that good stuff. Um, We'll just do, let's see here. We'll just do intake to make it easy. We'll do a medium size. So you can do it like that. You can, whoops. You can zoom the display, move it. 
calibrate it. Um, you can bring it to front and back, meaning if you want a bunch of gauge, a bunch of gauges together, you can do this. Move the display, put it right here. So now it's in the way. Send it back, puts it behind the gauge. Obviously not ideal for this situation, but certain gauges require stuff like that. So pretty straightforward on that. So when it comes to the settings, just back out. This is the main menu for Torque Pro. This is the vehicle. I have multiple vehicles set up on Torque Pro. All you gotta do is click on it. So it's obviously for this, pretty straightforward. Real-time um, information, which is what I was just at. You can add plugins to it, uh, the adapter settings, there's certain graphing, there's test results, there's a built-in GPS on this. So if you don't wanna use the maps, off the tablet you can use this it does read fault codes on the fly all you got to do is click on it it'll read all your codes you can clear the codes i don't have emissions and billing so if that's what you're looking at and yes it used to have an automatic so that's why all that's in there um so we can do all this you can see it all just go up here click it out refresh freeze frame save it you can clear it clear all the faults Obviously, I don't have the original dash at all, so I don't have any engine lights, so this is utterly pointless in my opinion. But uh, it is nice. Um, you can, obviously, as long as the car has, as long as the car has an OBD2 port, um, you can use this on any car with um, OBD2. Um, I use it on my Infinity and stuff as well, so it is kind of nice, um, which that has wideband factory, so that this will read wideband if the car has it. Um, back it out. Um, and then this is how you set the themes. So settings, themes, the tablet in order for this to change settings does have to have a Wi-Fi signal, which it's connected to my house currently. That's how it updates and changes everything. So you can have a background, background image. So if you want a picture of your car, family, whatever, that can be the background behind your gauges. Um, it does not look the best in my opinion, especially if the tablet's sideways because it changes the way the image is. Um, the theme is the preset themes and once it downloads all of them, you'll see what I mean. There's tons, um, I think there's 60 free themes that you get to pick for the background. I mean, some are Trailblazers, some are Lamborghinis, um, some are just color dialogues. These are all different ones. Um, I'll just do a, just do a random one really quick. It'll download it really quick and then I'll jump back to the original. Oh, one more. So now it's showing that it is. Oh, tablet went to sleep. The sleep program is also a part of what I set up on Torque Pro, so it does that automatically, knowing that the key is off. So when the key is off, it goes into sleep, so it saves the battery on the tablet. My tablet is 100%. Um, plugged in to the ignition so when the key is on the tablet's on and it's charging but as you can see i changed the tablet uh gauge display so this is what it looks like um like i said it was white and red before i use that during the daytime but if you wanted to you can have a day you can have a day and a nighttime um display so if you wanted this at night you can switch to this when the tablet re realizes it's nighttime um let's see i don't think there's really much else to it, honestly. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's super simple. I run a completely, um, I run a complete factory um, LM7 uh, red blue ECU. The entire Nissan wire and harness and everything was removed, and then this was ran through the whole car, so it's all OBD2 and everything else. Um, so. Everything's just pretty much plug and play. I mean, whatever the computer reads, this reads. I don't think there's anything else I can really add um, or what else it can do. I mean, it just, I mean, the possibilities on this, there's so many things you can do for how cheap this is compared to like Dakota Digital and all that stuff. Um, I've had many local people um, 
and take out their Dakota Digital and go this way only because in certain situations you can run a way bigger tablet display than one I currently have. Um, this one, this tablet display is actually pretty big. Um, let's see, I think I was on this one. Back and out. Yeah. So, um, hopefully this answers a lot of people's questions. Um, yeah, I guess if you have any questions or comments and I post the video, just go ahead and ask them and I'll try to answer them as I see them.